Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologist Gaming. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Dark Flash KU248SA monitor. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box you will find the user's manual and the screws for the monitor, the neck and the base of the monitor stand, the AC adapter, the HDMI cable, and lastly the Dark Flash KU248SA monitor itself. Let's assemble the monitor! Let's go to the specifications and features. The monitor has dimensions of 537 by 316 millimeters with a diagonal of 23.8 inches. Here are the complete specifications of the monitor. The neck and the base of the stand is made from steel. I noticed that when you slightly bump the monitor, the monitor will easily shake, which means the stand might not be wide or hold the monitor enough to make it stable. The monitor is limited to a slight forward and backward tilting and can be oriented vertically. This monitor is using an IPS LCD panel with a narrow 3mm bezel. The monitor itself is also 8mm ultra thin. You will think the cutouts of the back are for the speakers, but they are just cutouts for the air to pass through. The monitor also supports 100 by 100mm bezel mounting. It's a good option to have more than space. For the ports of the monitor, you will find the HDMI port, the BGA port, and lastly, the power port. For the OSD of the monitor, you can open it by using the buttons under the monitor. I will not just go deeper into that as it uses a generic one, but I will say it's kinda weird as the powered button is on the leftmost side which typically is on the rightmost side. The viewing angles of the monitor are still good even if you are looking at it on the left side or on the right side as the color still looks the same. To test the monitor, I use the ISO monitor test as I still don't have enough tools to dig deeper for my testing. When I tried the monitor on black background, I saw a single dead pixel. It's either a factory defect or because of the shipping. This is not an OLED screen, so black is not totally black and has a minimal backlight bleeding. On white background, there are minimal dark spots. Small to large text is readable from any viewing angle. The text is also crisp. Here are my final thoughts. The Dark Flash KU248SA monitor is not showcased as a gaming monitor, but as an entertainment and office monitor. You can still play games using this. It will still give you the immersion you want while using it in gaming, though it's only 75Hz. The color and contrast of the monitor for me are better than the ASUS BP249QGR. When you put them side by side, you can see the difference, especially in the viewing angles. The BP249QGR has a slight reduction of brightness on different viewing angles, and the KU248SA has almost no reduction at all, so it will be better on the productivity side. This is one of the first two monitor products from Dark Flash, and I think this is the first step when they will make a higher refresh rate and gaming monitor soon. There are still improvements needed for the monitor which I think will also happen soon, when they decide they want to produce a gaming monitor. You can buy the Dark Flash KU248SA around the price of 5,750 pesos at your nearest Dark Flash affiliated stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page and see you in the next video.